Now this was my first uh, foray into uh, horizontal Langstroth hives. Uh, I grabbed some plans off, uh, off I think it's natural, natural beekeeping or something like that off the web um, and grabbed some, some uh, timber from a local merchant. It's uh, two by, what would that be, um, two by 12 I think it was that I got. Um, of course it was plain and gauge so it's not, it's not two by 12 that you build it out of. Um, but basically you can see the, the thickness of that. I've, I've routed a, a pretty edge on the outside as well as taking that rebit out of the inside for the frames to sit on. Um, I've screwed the lid on. That's all 12mm uh, ply. Uh, I had some 15mm ply lying around so I've used that for around the edge um, of that. Um, countersunk those hinges in so it sits all nice and flat. Um, and part of the reason I left that little router on the outside is when this sits down I actually wanted something, once I glue it with propolis, I, I needed something to be able to get in there and crack that propolis open um, when when I open the hive. I've only got the one entrance to this hive um, down the right hand corner. Um, it's about six inches long and again uh, 12 mil wide. Um, I may end up having to put other entrances in but I just wanted to start with one and see how they got on. I've read conflicting things um, on the internet so I don't know about the location here. Uh, as you may or may not see out there most of the trees are losing their leaves. Uh, we're in June here in New Zealand uh, towards the end of June which June, July, August are our winter months where we get the coldest weather and then September it starts the spring first of September is our spring uh, where it starts getting a, a bit warmer uh, what I've done is I've, I had from construction of our house I had this 50 mil high density styrone, styrofoam uh, left over uh, so I've just made this thing 50 mil the cavity in the lid 50 mil so it's just pretty much flush um, all the way along. I don't know what happened here, it was over a bit, but you can see Mark 2 um, it's absolutely flat and what I'm going to do is put uh, corrugated iron on the top of this uh, long run iron or corrugated iron it's pretty pretty common here in New Zealand um, and I'm, the reason I've, I've got this sitting up 30 mil here um, which is just over 30 mil is to give it a bit of a, about an inch and a bit um, in imperial terms, just a bit of a runoff to the back of the hive. So uh, this is around about 550 wide this, so I'm going to cut a, a length of just old iron 700 long, so I've got about a, about a 60 or 70 overlap at the front and a bit of an overlap at the back, so the water doesn't run down the back of the hive. Um, don't want water running on the because this is all untreated even though it's painted you still don't want to get uh, water on it if, if you can avoid it um, so the water will actually drip off that iron um, onto the ground uh, that's the plan these are the legs just some old uh, 3 by 2 or 75 by 50 uh, just fence rail and they're going to go on there like so I've drilled the holes in them ready to go already, I've got the bolts, it's just, uh, just I haven't got around to finishing these ones because I've been working on my other hives. So these hold, as per the plans, about 32 frames I think it is. I've left uh, a gap at the end because I'm going to transfer uh, my existing Landstroth into there. So. I'll put uh, about eight, eight to ten frames from the brood chamber in the spring into there. Uh, these things here are very, very handy when you're working by yourself and you need a pair of hands to hold the corner of something. Um, when I was putting boxes together, um, they cost, I think it was about three American dollars each delivered. Uh, and I got those off uh, AliExpress. Uh, aliexpress.com 
just just cheap as chips. Um, the three, the four of them. I've only ever used two. Um, I must need four hands, so I've got my two, and two of those seem to work really well. So Mark II. Uh, this is from the learnings of the first one. Pretty much the same though. Uh, it was only I learnt to keep the measurements a bit more exact. See, I mitered, I mitered the corner on this thing. Most of the plans just say square joint. Um, I know why now. <laughs> They're pretty hard to do on a huckery old uh, drop saw that that's bearings are stuffed. So I'm um, just getting those straight enough to so that they don't look disgusting was um, yeah a bit of a mission. But it's turned out pretty pretty good. There's no end grain showing, so I, I was pretty happy with them overall.